Hi everybody, this is another Flying Rookie video and on this video I'm going to explain how to correct the arming issues that people are getting uh, when they upgrade the NASA with Simon K ESCs. So it could be in two kinds of different situations, either if you are buying a brand new NASA flight controller and you decided to use it with Simon K ESCs from the get go, but also for people that they do already got a NASA but they decided to replace the Opto ESCs from Opto to Simon K ESCs. It doesn't matter who's the maker of the Simon K ESCs. As far as I know, most people that they do have Simon K ESCs and they use it with the NASA, they're getting issues with the motors not arming at the same time. Okay, so there's uh, a few different ways to uh, resolve the problem. Uh, one way requires you having knowledge of how the ESC operates, how to navigate to the uh, setting menus on the ESC through the remote, or how to use the um, the programming card that that will allow you to uh, do programming settings on your ESC okay that's one way and the thing that you will have to uh, uh, um, you have to set up on your ESCs to correct the pro the arming issues is the um, is the throttle EPA or throttle endpoints that's something that you will have to set up so in that way all the motors will arm at the same time either through your remote by navigating the menus on the ESC, by listening at the beepings the ESC makes, or by using the programming card. Okay, so that's would be the hard way to get the problem solved. Now, there's an easy way that will allow you to correct the problem by using the NASA assistance software. Now, I'm gonna show before I connect the aircraft to the uh, NAS uh, to the computer. I wanna. Um, show was the this arming uh, uh, problem you know this arming problem with the Simon case and the NASA is the autobot okay so I'm just gonna plug the aircraft the radio is already on and now I'm gonna proceed to arm the aircraft as you can see it's only one motor that just arm and that's it I'm supposed to have more motors arming. Right now, sometimes they don't even, you know, they're giving some throttle, but they're not just giving a little bit of throttle. Only one motor moves. If I get more throttle, the other two from the front of the aircraft move, but the ones in the back doesn't want to move. So I'm just going to stop. Okay, and now I'm going to arm it again. And nothing happens. Sometimes you get one motor working, sometimes you get two motors working, sometimes you get no motors working when you arm it until you give it some throttle. And that's a big problem. And you know, you say, damn, you know, I spent $80 on ESCs on this freaking quadcopter and the damn thing doesn't work. You know, so, you know, I guess I gotta put back, you know, I gotta buy another set of ESCs or I have to send it back to the, to the seller or, I will have to put back, you know, the stock ESCs that I had over here before, you know, but that's an easy solution. Like I said, it doesn't involve even going through the ESC programming, uh, programming settings uh, on um, that you would normally uh, go through on the ESC. So let me just unplug the aircraft and uh, I'll leave the radio on. I'm going to minimize uh, my browser and I'm going to proceed to activate the DJI NASA assistance software okay now I'm gonna plug the micro USB wire to the V sensor and then I'm gonna plug again the aircraft to the battery okay now what you do is you gotta go to the motor mixer tab okay and you go to the second option that it says motor either speed and as you can see the default setting is recommend so what you do is you're going to move it from recommend to high okay once you do that just don't forget that you have to click right 
So in that way, that information will go from the software into your flight controller. Once you do that, you can close your software. You can unplug the battery mm -hmm. and unplug the USB cable of your aircraft. Then plug your aircraft back again. So you can test, make sure that now everything is working fine. Okay, we just put the browser back on and then grab your remote and test the arming. And now you see all the motors, they arm at the same time. As you can see, they stay running for like three seconds and you don't do anything. They just turn off by itself. Just arm it again. And just give it some throttle. And it's working fine. And a matter of fact, uh, I already flew this aircraft. I already did all the settings. Uh, 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 a day ago and I flew the aircraft after I could read the prompt with the um, with the uh, NASA system software and the aircraft flew flawlessly the only thing that I noticed is like when you use upgrade to Simon K ESE since they are faster than the DJI Opto ESEs for those that they did that upgrade you probably you have to lower your gains on the pitch and roll on and for the attitude gains and the basic gains you have to lower it like 10 or 20 between 10 to 20 points from whatever you already had on your um, on your uh, system software gain settings uh, the reason for that is because these ESCs are faster they tend to compensate and stabilize the aircraft faster than the previous ESCs so these ESCs doesn't require the gains to be as high as they would be if you were using a slow speed um, ESCs on the aircraft okay so that's the only little thing that probably you have to do and just don't forget that when you put ESCs that they are aftermarket on the NASA uh, flight controller you have to remember two things you have to calibrate those ESCs because they are not plug and play like the opto ESCs and also uh, more important you have to remove the positive cable from the connectors that goes uh, into the flight controller you got three wires you got a um, they, they are either white red and black or um, tan red and brown okay so you have to remove the red one that is positive you have to remove it and put some heat shrink because the nasa doesn't need to be powered by the ESCs. if you don't do that you're gonna burn the nasa flight controller the nasa already got its own bc there's this unit over here this is the nasa bc so that's something you gotta remember when you upgrade now i know that you guys when you see the opto ESCs, they got the three wires but the opto esc doesn't have um factory built-in bcs okay so that's the reason you know the the opto doesn't need to uh have that wire removed but even still there that wire is not sending anything that wire is just there doing nothing okay so as explained, that's the only the only thing that you need to do to correct the problem with the arming on your uh, Simon K ESCs with the NASA. So, I hope this video is it was helpful for you guys. You know, I hope all the frustrations that you had of not being able to fly your your baby, your your aircraft, your your quadcopter, your hexacopter is gone by 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 following the instructions that I just gave on this video. Okay, so please. Uh, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share, and favorite this video, okay? Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.